If you're familiar with TikTok, you already know who she is, and if you're not, I'm sure you've heard her name before. Charlie D'Amelio may be only 16, but she's taken over as the most popular teen on the internet. Since fans are always watching Charlie's every move, most recently the focus is on her nose job. Many are curious, including me, as to why someone so young would feel the need to get work done. In this vid, we're going to look at Charlie's overall transformation since coming to Hollywood, including this mysterious nose surgery. Charlie D'Amelio is a social media personality and dancer who rose to fame just last year thanks to TikTok. She and her older sister Dixie D'Amelio are both mega stars on the app and members of the exclusive Hype House in Los Angeles. By the way, we recently did a video of the Hype House if you guys want to check that out too. This past spring, Charlie had two events to celebrate, a quarantine style 16th birthday party. Hello guys, it's Charlie and for a while you guys have been asking for me to do a room tour since I got my room redecorated for my birthday by Tov. So here I am to finally give you guys a room tour. As well as becoming the most popular creator on TikTok, passing the likes of Lauren Gray. These days her following on the app holds over 72 million fans and that's just one platform. So while she may look like a normal teenager, think again. About, before I walked into dance class, it was about 50,000. I was like, that's it, I'm famous. Uh, don't talk to me. <laughs> Although it may seem her biggest problems are coming up with choreography for new TikToks and how she'll enjoy her newfound fame, Charlie has been a subject of bullying and body shaming in the past, which she and her sister Dixie have spoken up about. But honestly, these girls are way too young to even have to worry about that. Charlie also had to think of what to tell her fans when she revealed a bandaged nose and black eyes in her Instagram story and some TikTok videos just last week. Before you guys tell me, oh, it's because of her breathing and she broke her nose. I know that's what she explained and I'm not saying it isn't. But how many times have we been told that story before? Yeah, <laughs> my nose has been bleeding so much so I found a doctor that was like willing to actually work on all these problems because most of them weren't. Whatever the case, after this video I'll let you guys be the judge. What's going on guys and girls, my name is Kara and this series we've titled Before and After. We're going to take a look at TikTok sensation Charlie D'Amelio and how she's changed since her childhood and debut in Hollywood. I'm talking early days, nose job style, you name it. But she still is super young so this video might be a little different than usual. That being said, we've done other celebrity transformations on the likes of Britney Spears and Khloe Kardashian and we'll link to some at the end. Be sure to like, hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. As always, if there's anyone else you want a before and after on, let me know in the comments down below. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and let's get into this video. Before her TikTok fame, Charlie grew up in Connecticut and danced competitively. She's from Norwalk, Connecticut and was living there with her family until 2019 when they moved to Los Angeles. It makes sense that Charlie is so good at what she does on TikTok considering her background in dance. And she used to post videos and photos from her competitions on Instagram. Her first viral video was this TikTok duet slash tutorial with Move With Joy. And Charlie said in an interview she doesn't even know how she got so famous, saying, I wish I could give everyone an explanation as to what happened but I have no idea. In October, Renegade became a huge TikTok trend largely thanks to Charlie. The most popular versions of Renegade are hers, but many other TikTokers did duets in their own versions. But before the entire D'Amelio family would sign with a talent agency and before Charlie would reach the height of fame overnight, what was she like? Back in Connecticut, Charlie really didn't look much different than she does these days. Charlie seems to have had the same small features throughout her childhood, the same dark hair and even the freckles. The only thing that's different is back then she rocked the whole braces and glasses phase. I still need glasses so I was one of those kids too, just not the braces. But clearly from what we can see, those braces worked for Charlie and she has a perfect smile these days. When I was 15 or 16, I was definitely not considered a style icon, but then again, I didn't have to worry about over 70 million people watching and idolizing me. We didn't even have Instagram. Anyways, unlike your average teenager, Charlie has people all over the world wanting to copy her fashion. Okay, so right now I'm getting glammed up for the Prada show. Very exciting in my Prada PJs. Okay, so right now we are all dressed and such and everything and now we're gonna go to the actual show it's actually really fun it's my messy suitcase my 
Oh wow, you're really close. Hey, how are you? Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to show now and then I'll talk to you guys later. It's no doubt that with her rise to fame, her style evolved too. When you're 15, already going to Fashion Week in Milan, you know that your wardrobe is better than anyone else your age. Not to mention, Charlie can wear all the designer duds she wants with the millions of dollars she's earning. I think now it's time to address the elephant in the room, Charlie's recent nose job. Fans were recently concerned when they saw her rocking some pretty intense looking bandages over her nose. Don't worry though, your fave TikToker is A-OK -okay, and according to Charlie, the surgery was simply to help with her breathing. November was when I was my surgery was scheduled because it's like I can't breathe at all and it's super the bone when it broke it collapsed so the bone inside is like this and you can see now there's like more of a bump it wasn't for the shape um it was for it was for um, just like breathing purposes. And it's not the first time we've heard this age old excuse. Celebrities often use health or breathing issues as the reason for a rhinoplasty instead of just owning up to cosmetic work. However, looking at Charlie's nose before, it was already petite and suited to her face perfectly, so I personally see no reason to change it, especially since she's only 16. But it's also not the first time that such a young celeb would go under the knife either. Take Bella Thorne or Tana Mojo, for example. Hi guys, it's Tana Mojo, and before I address this look, which believe me, I f will. Anyways, back in April, Charlie explained the situation, tweeting that since she broke her nose last August, she's had a breathing problem ever since. She said, I was supposed to have surgery in November to fix it, but then I started having problems in my left nostril, and now I can barely breathe out of my nose at all. Also adding that these nose issues interfered with her dancing, which clearly is a big deal. Fast forward to last week and Charlie posted a TikTok with her bandaged nose and two black eyes, stating in the caption, Surgery is done and I am so beyond excited that I was finally able to fix my breathing. It didn't stop her from making multiple TikToks either. Her sister Dixie also posted a vlog titled Charlie Got Surgery, where the family welcomed her back from her nose procedure and gets her cake and stuff. Your favorite cake. Elbows in. <gasps> Thank you, Dixie. Aww. Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay, bye. Once those bandages are off, we'll better be able to see Charlie's new and improved nose. So what do you guys think as of now? Do you believe Charlie's reasons for getting nose surgery or do you think she got an actual nose job? Sound off in the comments because I personally have no idea on this one. Usually this is the part of the video I would talk about a celebrity's diet or exercise plans and how they stay so fit, but since she's 16, it's unlikely that Charlie has to do much of anything to keep in shape. Despite her young age, Charlie still had to deal with her fair share of body shamers already. From any posts or TikToks to star posts, we can tell she is slim and in great shape, but comments are not always positive. In the past, Charlie has spoken about all the comments she gets every day about her weight and body, whether she's told she's too thin, gaining weight, you name it, and simply being judged. When she addressed this, she tweeted, Stop talking about my body, it's not your place to tell me if I'm losing or gaining weight. Charlie also asked people to be respectful of each other and understand that we should just be kind and uplift everyone instead of trying to bring others down. And honestly, it is weird to make any type of comments about someone's body, especially when they're still a kid. I guess that's why Billie Eilish does the whole body hiding thing with her baggy clothes. Anyways, all we know about how Charlie stays in shape is all of her daily dancing, which is no doubt a workout in itself. She also said, I've been very motivated to start eating better and working out every day to become the healthiest version of myself. Whatever that means. So I guess that's all there is for Charlie D'Amelio's transformation since she is only 16. Although she may look like just your average teenager, she's way more glam than most of us were at her age. Just admit it. This shocking nose job could have been the beginning of newfound love for cosmetic surgery for Charlie, or it could have been exactly what she said it was, a corrective surgery to fix her breathing. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Charlie's still grown into a teen with enviable fashion sense, and for you guys that are fans, there are even accounts showing you her every outfit if you want to copy her. I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. But don't forget she's a millionaire. It's easy for them to look great 24-7. After seeing Charlie from her childhood to recent times, what did you think? And what do you think about the new nose job? Be sure to let me know down in the comments, as well as who else I should do a before and after on. If you want to talk more about Charlie's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!